Hello everyone and welcome to First 20 here on Steven Plays. My name is Steven George, I play video games, and every Friday it's the first 20 minutes or so of a game. Today we are taking a look at Evoland, Legendary Edition. This is a game that uh, came out back in uh, 2013 and has slowly crept its way onto every platform. It was originally released on uh, PC and Mac, then it made its way to Android and iOS, then Linux, and as of just last year, in 2019, it came out to the consoles, Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. So uh, Jam sent this my way. I really appreciate it. This is actually voted on by the audience. We had a few games. I was like, which one should we play? And they voted for Evo Land. The, the shtick of this game is that you go through different eras of video games, and that's just a really enticing thought to me. So that's one of the reasons why this was on my list. So let's jump in and find out what this is all about. Evo Land 1, Evo Land 2. Oh, this has got both of them in it. Oh, neat. All right, we're going to start with the first one. So Evo Land 1, you got right direction. There seems to be some chest to open this way. So as of right now, I can only move to the right. But now I've earned the ability to move to the left. Always going right is boring. Okay, I'll move, I'll move to the left. You got 2D movement. That's good. You can't go anywhere else anyway. Okay. So I'm unlocking the ability to move. You got basic scrolling. You want to see where you're heading, right? Okay, so now I can like... All right. So we're... we're it's the building blocks of a game. You got sound effects. The game is much more alive this way. Agreed. Smoother scrolling will save you some headache. Ah, oh, there we go. The game is growing up. Right before our very eyes. Uh, okay. Now yeah, we can navigate a little bit. You got a sword! Now you can kill the evil monsters and cut down bushes. Okay. So bushes are probably these. Yeah. Is there anything back? I don't think so. Eventually we'll get over there, but we're not there yet. But this allows us to continue. You got monsters, be careful not to touch them. <laughs> we still have not unlocked music. Evil Land Tune, topping the charts since 2012. Okay, so we can go up. You got save points, an evolution that changed gaming forever. Game saved, you are safe. Well, thank you. Okay. Oh, snap! We got 16 color display! Things are starting to look good. Hmm. Looks like we can go up here. Let's take a look. Ooh, what's this? You got the star. Collect all the hidden stars of Evo Land. You got the card Bat. A new card to play Double Twin. I don't know what that is yet. Let's venture down. Let's see if I can head... Can I head south from here? No, there's a tree of some sort. Okay. Well, then I'll be coming back this way. Take that bush. Something down here. There's another tree. There's some something special about these trees. But we can't interact with them, like, quite yet. No, you don't, Octorok. Bat! Bat! Evil bat! Got it. Some sort of monolith there. Let's head north. Another save point. Evil Land, a short story of adventure video games evolution. After centuries of peace, an ancient evil has finally resurfaced to threaten the world of Evilandia. You are one of the few remaining members of the Order of the Dragon Knights, whose purpose is to travel the world to help the needy and fight evil. Those centuries of peace clearly mean you haven't had a whole lot to do recently, but it looks like business is picking up again. Evo Land. You got storyline. This plot is so deep and rich. It's a really interesting way of doing a game. Hey, you got 256 colors display. This is almost real graphics. I mean, as a kid, yes, I believed that wholeheartedly with every fiber of my being. You got sign panel. Luckily, it seems your hero knows how to read these signs. 
This path is reserved for agile adventurers. Okay. I'm, am I agile? Because I'm doing it. You got free movement. Looks like it's time for some action adventure. Oh, so I can move in any direction. The access has been blocked by the dimensional stone. Try the path to the east. Okay. So now I'm just, I'm just wandering around. I can't swing in any direction, though. So that... <laughs> hmm. Oh, but I can go over here now. Game saved. Oh, no. Oh, God. Poke him in the back. You want some of this? I'm just gonna steal this. You got inventory. It does not pause the game, though. It doesn't look like... No, maybe it does. They just moved into place and then they stopped moving. Alright, so I have a sword, obviously. See if I can stab this guy to death. Ooh, you got path unlocked. Killing all the monsters will sometimes help you in your quest. You got overworld! Exploring the world's always nice, but beware of random encounters. You got turn-based battle. Let's change to a different fighting style. Oh, things have changed. Fight it. I do not know how much health these things have. There's a part of me that is a like a little a little worried. I'm like, shoot, maybe I should have like maybe I should have spent more time at the beginning area. There's probably more I, I could have had. Under Gliss. I'm sticking on the path. You got Mode 7! It looked really gorgeous when it was introduced back in 1990. It's like I'm playing Final Fantasy. Alright, so now I'm somewhere new. You got Places name. You will learn the, the name of the places you travel to. The Meadow. Let's get this guy killed. Got him. Defeating the enemies could give us... things. And also, putting four enemies in a row is a little suspicious, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna waste them. Let's go ahead and save. Saving is really convenient. You just have to walk over and then you're set. Oh, come on. Chest unlocked. That was for this one. You got village. Why do villages always have such annoying music? Little earworms. Okay, so there's something here. You got NPC. At least at last someone to talk to or not. Sorry, I don't speak to children. Okay, I can't go indoors. Stop bothering me. Go play with other children. Okay, but I, I don't know where any, any children are. I'm just a little baby. What are you doing here? Children should go to bed. It's day! If you're not a nice boy, the evil Kefka's ghost will come and eat you. Okay, well, I can't, I can't go to sleep. I'm gonna just wander around this village. Sorry, I don't speak to, ch no one speaks to children. I, I don't think I have the ability to open doors yet. Adults are not funny. They always complain about us children. If only I could eat the growth seed, I would no longer be a child. But the seed I found has fallen down the well. I am too scared to get it back. It's too dark down there. The well, I saw a well. I would absolutely go into the well to retrieve the growth seed. Enter the well? It's very dark. I don't care. You got secret place. What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> Alright. I still have my sword. And I might need it. Just walking around. What I get? You got the card Worm, a new card to play Double Twin. Still don't know what those, uh, you know, are yet. In time, we may learn. You have found a strange seed. Do you want to eat it? Yeah. Put the growth seed in my- oh my god, I'm big. You got grow taller. What's with all the kids in video games nowadays? Oh, look at this. My, my sword attack changed too. I heard a lot of strange sounds coming out of the north caves. 
girl has visited us earlier. Is she a friend of yours? Still can't use doors. The Crystal Caves to the north are a dangerous place. It is said Kefka's ghost lives there, but no adventurer has ever come back to tell us. Well, how did you... How did you know? There are quite strong monsters in the caves ahead. We won't let you pass with your current equipment. Okay. Well, at least I'm getting somewhere. Let's see. Did I talked to you already? Welcome to the Papanika Village. Please enjoy your stay with us. Yeah, it's, it's been alright. Adults are not funny. If only I could eat the gross seed. I done ate it, so you cannot eat it. It is mine forever. <laughs> You got enter. Oh, thank God. Now I can go in people's homes. And there's treasures in here, too. You got innkeeper. A nice bed is waiting for you at a decent price. Do I have money? You look tired. What about resist? What? What about resisting? What about resting in our cozy inn? It'll only cost you. Oh, yeah, that's right. I fought some folks. Yeah, sure. Let's take a little snooze. Save your game? Sure. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna leave now. All right, let's see. There's another house over here. Can't read any of this. Oh, the shopkeeper. Welcome to the adventurer's shop. Please spend all your money here. Thank you. Okay. Um, oh, hmm, hmm, okay. Do I have anything to sell? I have a potion. All right. What is my equipment? Did it... Ch oh, it changed my thing. Okay, so now I can't... All right, I can't see my... So I don't know what I have equipped. Or, oh, I, or do I have anything equipped? Because I had a sword. Now my sword's gone. Okay. Neat. Let me go in another house. Maybe I need more cash. This door is locked. Maybe there's something in there. I'll never know if I can't get in! Alright, well, let me check a different house. You got the card, Torque. There's nothing else here. So they, they said I needed equipment, and they sell equipment. But, like... With your current equipment. I'm kind of curious if I can leave the village. Yeah, I can. Okay. All right. See, I have a sword here. I guess I get money from fighting, so I guess, as is, it, you know, standard fare, I should probably fight a little bit. I have to grind in order to be able to do this. Because you get 100 each time, so if I just fight a few folks, I should have the money to do this. This really takes me back. This really, really takes me... takes me back. All right, let's kill this big... Um, chicken horse. It looks like it's supposed to be a bizarro chocobo. Uh, yeah, I can. I should be able to get another fight or two in. 64 health. Oops! Accidentally went in the town. <laughs> yeah, Jell says not a chocobo. TM. Please don't sue us. Not a chocobo. Game is clearly parody. Get in there. Should probably. Uh... Should probably just go back. All right. So I have a little more cash. Papunika Village. Uh, I can rest up. So I have 340 right now. So 
how much money I have. I know it's in the bottom right, and that's where I'm. I, my face is. Uh, okay. So I can afford uh, something. Was the shop key... Is this it? Okay. So I can buy a long sword. I have a sword, so I don't, I'm not convinced I need that. Let's buy armor. You bought the item armor. Copper armor. Your defense has increased. Okay. Alright. It doesn't say that I have a sword. So I guess I'll buy this too. Screw it. You bought the item longsword. Your attack has increased. You got equipped. Now you're ready to fight stronger monsters. Okay. Alright. So if I have additional money, which I do, I have 80, I could buy other things. I could buy another potion. I could buy a phoenix down. Who's going to use the phoenix down if I'm the only one playing? Like... I don't have another party member. Let me buy an extra potion. They sell infinite potions. Alright, so now I have two of those. Alright, let's go. You get money pretty easily. So, I'm not terribly concerned. Oh, so I'm good now. I'm on my way to the caves. Goodbye, Papanika Village. It's been real. You got forced fight. Someone's calling for help. Oh, no! I heard someone calling for help. Looks like she got attacked by these monsters. They're, they're hurting me. But again, I you know, I'm wearing armor, so I'm taking less damage. And I still don't have any... I don't have any special attacks yet. You got 180. Oh, what's this? Thank you for saving me from these monsters. I need the crystal in the cave to save my hometown. Will you help me? You can't say no. By the way, my name is... You got Force Choice. K Karis. Okay. Karis has joined the team. Alright. So that's why you would need a Phoenix down. Alright, Karis. Let's, let's frickin' do this. Is there something to the left here? Because there's a cave up there. But this looks like it goes... It doesn't. Wait, whoa. Wait, hold on. Where's it? No, this does go somewhere. It had a little map transition. Karis, we gotta kill these monsters. Oh, I'm very strong. Oh, we're very, very strong. Hold on. The Hidden Meadow. You got True Explorer. You found the Hidden Cave. Okay. Because I bothered to, like, look around. Alright. Let's keep... Let's keep... Let's keep it going, Karis. Oh, I don't even have a name yet. I wonder if that was, like, something that was earlier and I missed it. It's possible. What is this? Oh, hey, there's money. Can I keep an eye on my health? Although, currently, my health is nice. Where's this going? Found a potion? Okay. Invasion of the Undead Cats by E. Schrodinger, an Amazon bestseller. Another fight. These fights are quick and simple. And it doesn't tell me... So, so the, the first thing is, I can't use a potion out of combat. I'm sure that'll be a thing later, but as of right now, I can't use it. So if I want to use a potion, I have to use it... Does it tell me what they do? It, does, it also doesn't tell me what they do. This is very old school. So I do not know how much health it recovers. Big shrug. You got a star. It's probably the reason for coming in here. Yeah. It's just a little extra thing. Keep hitting them. How will us just assume 20? See, I would assume a lot more. Because they cost 50. And that seems like a lot. I guess it's not that much when you're getting 100 every single fight. I, I'm going to go on a limb and assume that the potion recovers um, maybe 50 health. Could also, could also recover like a, a percentage. Sometimes games do that. 
but we don't know what it recovers, and we won't know. Nothing over there. Alright, let's get out of this cave. Almost. Also, when I'm walking away, my character reminds me of Lieutenant Surge. Why my mind went there specifically, I, I don't know. But it did. Oh, hey, there's something in here, too. The card slime. Okay, so we got, we got a few little bonus things for looking around. We can only exit the way we came in. Sure. Let's get up to that cave now that me and Karis are, uh, are teaming up. No damage. I probably am rich by this point. Let's see what we got. The Crystal Caves. We need to find the crystal. It is the name of the map. Its power can change your perception of the world. And with it, you can fight the evil that threatens my village. By the way, I just noticed I forgot to ask your name. It's me, Clink! <laughs> the girl's finally noticing you're an actual human being. Also, that recovered my health. Alright. Sure, I'll take free health recovery. You got cave monsters. Uh-oh. The cave's inhabited. I mean, I just expected it to be inhabited, to be honest. It's fine. We're taking them down. Also, when they say that your perception of the world is going to change, I, I presume that, you know, we're going to leave, like, the 16-bit era, which I think is very fun. What's in here? If anything. A potion. Okay, free potion. These mole creatures are uh, really getting on my nerves. But they are still astoundingly easy to defeat, so I can't be too mad. Oh, there's more money. Okay, let's walk up here. Let's go right. That's a good choice. Oh, wait. Aw, oh, man! I can't get to the chest! Oh no, a torque! Oh, it, it looks like he's got a lot of armor. He hasn't attacked. 20 damage! Okay, we gotta, be, we gotta watch out for this torque thing. It's dead. Okay, I can't get to that, so I'm gonna have to go the other way. Experience points! Ooh! Now we can level up. We can't check them but we can get them all right what's this you got life fountain some fresh water might heal your wounds your hit points have been restored save your game yeah all right let's head south from here and uh grab that other thing got it What do I get? Oh. I think that's for the entire game, so I think we've, like, found a tenth of the secrets in the game. But I also believe- I think that Evil Land is overall, like, a fairly short experience. Clink has reached level 2, his attack has increased. Karis's uh, defense has increased. Did I lose any health? I did. This all just keeps giving me health, right? Gonna be kind of hard to lose if I can just if I have access to uh, infinite infinite health here. Let's take these guys out and then keep moving. Down. You got something happened somewhere, but where? Torque. Die, Torque, die. We are leveling up. You're no match for level 3 Clink. We got the card Skaven. Um, so, it looks like Karis may have magic, so she might have special moves. I haven't needed them, but... Hey, it's Crystal. You woke up the Guardian of the Crystal. Oh no! Kafka's ghost. This one looks powerful. He was the crystal's guardian for many centuries, but it looks like it has been corrupted by some evil power. 
Most likely the same evil that has attacked my hometown. Let's get the crystal. We need its power to fight. Sounds like a good plan. All right, uh, so fight, clink, fight, magic. Oh, you know heal. Oh, well, then fight, I guess. Boss animation, he looks much more dangerous now. He does. All right, keep fighting. So seriously, just wail on him. All right, let's see, how much does your heal do? You're probably gonna need to heal yourself. Items. Wait, no, no. You attack. Phantom counter. Ooh, that's a bad. All right, go ahead and heal. Oh, you heal both of us. That's not much health, but sure. I don't think you have MP. So you can just keep doing this. Okay. <laughs> sure. Sure. Why not? Heal is infinite. Oh, we, we, we're going to ride this puppy to the end. Phantom counter. Ah, that hurt. Uh, unfortunately for you, I can heal forever. Okay, let's keep it going. I can attack for now. Things are going to go pretty well as long as I got this uh, system set up. Rude. We win. We, we beat that guy. The crystal power has been activated. You got 3D mode. You got a whole third dimension. The power of the crystal is incredible. Now I feel like I can fight the evil which threatens my village. But we will have to cross the Noria Mines in order to reach it. Thank you for helping me. You're my hero. Oh, it's... There's nothing here, though. There's not... There's nothing... Let me open these. Hey, 16-bit music! You got life arts! Oh, this is cool. It's so cool to see, like, the slow evolution of everything. You got a star. This is probably a card. Yeah, they tend to come together. This is such a, a really neat idea. Even if short and sweet, like... I like the idea a lot. Um, I can't fit that through that. Sorry. Let's see here. There's sometimes they're like, kill all the enemies, and then that's good. So I'm trying to remember that also. And right now, I'm not sure where... Now, is she... Is she still with me? I don't know if she's with me. I think she's gone. So it's just me again. What's this? Pixelated textures? It looks much more like a real world now. I mean, it, it does help a lot. You got Dimensional Stone Past. Was it always that small? You're back to the early game! Aw, oh, neat! Hey, this is where I was before! But now I'm... Now I'm three-dimensional! It's that save point from the near the beginning. And now there's a rock. I can't, I can't get through that. That's a rock. Oh. Okay, okay, this is really neat. This is really neat. So let me go back over this way. Things have changed a little bit. Like not a ton a ton, but like a definitely a little bit. This is all blocked off now. It looks like at some point you're going to need, like, bombs or something. This really is a celebration of video games. You get a star. 
because it's 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 actually doing a lot of different uh, genres as well. I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop there because I, I think we've seen enough to get the gist of it. That was really good. That was really good. I'm I'm genuinely uh, I'm genuinely interested in seeing the rest of this, and the fact that there's a sequel to this is also really fascinating to me. This was really fun. Uh, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Evo Land is available on so many things. So many things. Like PC, Mac, Android, iOS, uh, Linux, Switch, PS4, Xbox One. I think that's right. And a special shout out to Jam again for sending this my way. Um, this was uh, this was a hoot. I'd like to play through the rest of this at some point. Maybe on a maybe on a future stream. That might be nice. Thanks for watching. See you next week for more Steam Plays. First 20.